Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here for Assimilate Inc. and I'm back again with the next lesson in our Learn Scratch tutorial series. And in this lesson, I'm all about custom guides. With all the different social media platforms and delivery platforms you're going to be sending your work to, you're going to need to get in and create custom guides. Now to be honest, it's pretty easy for me to get in and just tell you what all these guides would be. But much like if I was going to feed you for life, I'm not going to fish for you. I'm going to teach you to fish in this lesson. I'm going to get in. I'm going to show you how you can figure out how to calculate the different aspect ratios and width dimensions that you're going to need to set up these social media guides quick and easy. All right. So as you can see, we are in Assimilate Scratch. We're going to head on over to our settings into our guides. And what I'm going to do is by default, I'm just going to turn on the guide for HDTV 1.78 to 1. I'm just going to turn the guides on. Now you're going to notice that Action Safe and Text Safe has also been turned on as well. But believe it or not, those are actually irrelevant to what we need to do. Because when dealing with social media aspect ratios, there really isn't a safe title or a safe action area. It's really only the edge of the frame. Think about it. If you're looking at Facebook on a browser, you're not worrying about what's inside of, you know, title safe or picture safe. You're really only worried about what's inside of the four walls of the edge of the frame. So what we're going to do to get ourselves rolling is we're going to create a copy of this. And I'm going to simply call it, and we're going to start out with the 9 by 16 aspect ratio of Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Now keep in mind, you'll have other aspect ratios and other, you know, platforms you might be going to, but we're just going to keep it generic to the main three social media platforms. Now you're going to notice we have something here that says X, Y, and something here that says width height. Now what I'm going to do just to get us rolling here is I'm just going to put the X and Y values down at zero. All right. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to set the height, which I know to be 1080. Now what's important to keep in mind is that we're working in a 1920 by 1080, 2997 frame per second timeline. So when we're setting up our vertical video, obviously the height of it's going to be to the height of the frame. It's the width that we're not sure what those pixels are going to be. All right. So 1080 is always going to be our height. So let's now talk about how we're exactly going to figure out what the width is going to be. Well, if I bring up my little chart here, you'll see that when we're talking about the width over the height of 9 by 16, that actually gives us an aspect ratio of 0.56 to 1. So you're probably thinking, well, Kevin, I really just need to know how to figure this out. Well, believe it or not, it's quite simple. We know what the height's going to be. We just don't know what the width's going to be. So all we have to do is take the height, which is 1080, and in this case, multiply it by 0 0.56. Now, there's a couple other decimal places in there, which I just rounded to to make it a little bit easier. And if you take 0.56 and you multiply it by 1080, you get a value of 605. So that's 605 pixels wide. So if in Scratch we now take the width and we punch in a value of 605, you're going to see we now get that vertical video guide kind of how we want it, but not quite. So what do we need to do now to figure out exactly where we need to place this guide? Well, this is where we're going to circle back to the X and Y values. But what's important to keep in mind is when we're lining this up, you might be thinking, oh, okay, I get it. Well, the frame width is 1920. And what we want to do is we want to center up our guide. So I'm going to take 1920 and divide that in half. And that gives me a value of 960 on the X. But if you punch that in, you're going to notice something weird has happened here and that our guide is actually off center. What's important to keep in mind is that what Scratch is doing is it's lining the guide up with the left edge of the frame here for the guide. So this is actually lined up perfectly with 960, which is not what we want. We want to center it up in the middle of the frame. So how do we figure this out? Well, it's actually quite simple. What we're going to do is take the width of the frame. We're going to subtract the width of the guide and we're going to divide that by two. So 1920 minus 605 divided by two is going to give us a value of 657. So if I punch in a value of 657 right here and go boom, guess what? We now have our guide centered perfectly in the middle of the screen. And if we take the blanking and we turn it on, you'll now see that we can even just dial it back just a little bit. So it'll be a little bit on the gray side. So what we now have is our guide for a 9 by 16 or vertical video all set to go. 
And if we were a little bit paranoid, what we could also do is we could get in and simply turn on the action safe. And what I would probably do is I wouldn't even put it at 90, I'd put it at more like 95, specifically for things like logos. Maybe you just want the logo to sit not quite at the edge of the frame, but pretty darn close. You could get in, add this guide, and you would now be all set to go when working with vertical video, all right? Now you'll see I can switch to one, I can switch back to the other, perfect, all right. So let's set up another one now. Now what's important to keep in mind when we're setting up the four by five aspect ratio is we're gonna duplicate the one that we're working with right now. Now the four by five is specifically for Instagram. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to, again, add and copy. We will call this four by five. Okay, Instagram, and we're going to be figuring out the exact same thing that we figured out before. So if we're looking at four over five width over height, that gives us an aspect of 0 0.8 to one. If we take 0 0.8 and we multiply it by 1080, it's gonna give us a value of 864 for a width value, all right? So back in scratch, I'm going to navigate down to our width. I'm gonna punch in 864. Boom, that's a 405 aspect ratio. Again, keep in mind, we still need to go back to that equation of 1920 minus that 864 divided by two to figure out exactly where we want this left edge to start. And what that gives us a value of is 528 pixels. So now you'll see we are perfectly centered for a four by five Instagram guide if we needed one. Now, last but certainly not least, we do of course have the one-to-one -one if it happened to be going for Instagram or even Facebook. So again, we're gonna do the exact same thing here. I'm going to add a copy. We're just gonna call this again, one-to-one. -one. And I will leave it as Instagram for now. This could be one-to-one -one for anything. Now, of course, the width is 1080. The height we already know is 1080, boom. Now all we gotta do is figure out what the X value is. So again, 1920 minus 1080 divide by two gives us a value of 420 pixels to have everything lined up. And we now have our three guides set up for social media inside of Scratch. All right, I wanna thank you for watching this great lesson on learning Assimilate Scratch. Now, don't forget to check us out on our different social channels. And if you missed our last lesson, you can simply click on it right here on the screen in front of you. Don't forget as well to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, you can always send them to me at kevinpmcauliffe at gmail.com.